Hi there, my name is Rani, and today I'm going to teach you one very beautiful special word in English and how we use it kind of like an idiom. The word is <clears throat> Frank! Woo! This is um, another lesson by request. Um, the person that wrote in and requested this lesson is actually living in the fine city of Toronto. And that's actually where I am right now. Where are you? Oh, do you know? <clears throat> so, um, this is probably um, a word that this person has heard on the street. So we like to call this... Slang. And slang means basically words that are not in your dictionary or that we've taken from the dictionary, we've changed the meaning of. Um, slang, you can think of it like an idiom, but it's more um, used by younger generation people and people who make new words and make them fun. So let's go through some of the slang fun we can have with the word freak. I think Michael Jackson did a song about being a freak. Super freak. No. Who was that? Ah, I'll get it. Grandmaster. Flash. So, if someone says to you, you are a freak. <clears throat> you think this has a good meaning or a bad meaning? We need a capital on every sentence that we begin in English, by the way. Bad teacher. If someone says you are a freak, uh, it's not a good thing. It kind of means you're a little crazy, okay? So this might have a bad meaning to it. If it's your friend and he says, you're a freak, mm, that's okay. But if it's someone that you don't know and they call you a freak, not very good. All right. <clears throat> if You hear someone say that another person was or is freaking out. So we can use he is, or if you want to use the past, he was freaking out. That meant that the person was going crazy. Maybe they had something wrong with them or something bad happened, and they lost their minds, not literally again, and they started slamming things and just going freaking out like that. Some people can freak out on the dance floor, which is dancing in a crazy style. But generally, freaking out means going crazy. Jumping around and then all the fun things associated with going crazy. Not literally, of course. Um, Now, if you just use the word freaking on its own, um, this is a nice way that teenagers has changed a very naughty word in English and used it so that their mummies and daddies don't get mad at them. You might hear people say, he is a freaking idiot. So this good meaning, bad meaning, bad meaning. And what the person is really wanting to stay instead of freaking is fucking. This is used as an adjective. Yay! Okay? So, this word in English, fucking, is very, very, very naughty. Um, once again, if I said that word, my mom would get angry at me. And so we've changed it to freaking. Um, you might hear something like people say, Fricking. This is the same idea. We're replacing this bad word with a word that doesn't make sense and everyone thinks is cool. Or all right to say in front of children. So if someone says he is fricking, he is, uh oh, ah, oh, forgot the ah. Uh. He is a freaking idiot or a freaking idiot. They really want to say this, but they can't, okay? That's about all I can think of. The last one is, as I mentioned before, on the dance floor. 
Somebody can be a super freak. If I have my musical history correct, Super Freak was used in the early 1970s with the first rapper, Grandmaster Flash, calling himself a Super Freak. Now, I could have that information wrong, so it's your job to go and Google that, or Yahoo that, whatever you'd like, I think Google's better, and see who, what artist, sang the song Super Freak. That's all for now, folks. Bye-bye. Yeah!